The two men in this video probably couldn't believe their eyes when they saw a wallet sitting on a store counter with large bills visible inside. One of the men did the wrong thing, taking the money for himself. But as Tim Pamplin shows us, the story ends up with a different ending. OK, what would you do? We're at Shoppers Valley on Biddle in Wyandotte. You walk in, you see a wallet laying there, hundreds sticking out, no one around. It obviously belongs to somebody. Hey, I've had a couple strokes and I got short term memory loss. Who's our victim for this story? 72 year old man visits Shoppers Valley every morning. He played a couple of lotteries and he leaves. He leaves his wallet behind, so he rushes back to the store. His wallet is exactly where he left it. Yeah, I thought everything was okay until I got home and opened it up. That's when he realized what's happened. Take a look at the video. The guy on the left sees the wallet and it's just too much for him. He takes about three or four of the hundred dollar bills. The guy he came in the store with waits patiently to cash a check. But old Sticky Fingers here can't seem to help himself. Pacing backwards and forwards, sees there's a few more Benjamins for the taking. Goes in, grabs those two, cleans out the wallet, all $700 that the victim had saved up to pay his property taxes. Well, quick detective work by Wyandotte Police got the suspect in custody. They say the money was all gone, spent on heroin. As for the victim, good news today, he was presented with a check for $700 from a local businessman who heard his plight. He immediately went to City Hall, paid those taxes, and through tears today he said he's grateful. I can't thank him enough. Have a nice guy. Tim Pamplin, Local 4.